guys, it's day two and I am currently on my way home from work. I stopped by Target really quick because I'm really hungry and I was craving pasta. And honestly, pasta is a lot faster <laughs> to make than like my usual Mexican meals and stuff. And I'm tired and I'm hungry and I just want to get home and eat as soon as possible. So my plan for today is the same as yesterday, finish To Kill a Kingdom. I feel like once I finish To Kill a Kingdom, like I'll be good like because then I have audiobook options and I, just, I feel like I just need an audiobook I actually brought the book with me um, but I haven't really got the chance to read at all um, I left in a hurry this morning because I overslept <laughs> and then last night I didn't really get much reading done before I passed out but I'm hopeful for today like I said it's my goal I'm gonna try to finish or at least get through most of it today there's another person in front of me there's a lot of people in this little walkway Either it's really empty or really full. There's like no in between. I think that's all the updates I need to give, right? I'll check back with you guys when I'm home, I guess. Really quickly though, I'm coming up to like the post-apocalyptic highway overpass place that I mentioned. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, there's a tickle in my throat. I want to show it to you guys again because I still think it looks really cool. So, Ugh, I'm going to die. I'm choking, hold on. I still think it looks super cool. Every time that I walk by here. It looks really cool and post-apocalyptic and a little creepy, but kind of nice. Just wanted to show it again. Okay, see, this is the perfect example. I'm not even doing this on purpose for the camera. This is just legitimately what happens when I try to pick up a physical copy of a book now. Like, I just can't concentrate. But I'm gonna try harder. Okay, time to focus. You guys are gonna see that though, because my camera keeps flashing at me and need to charge it. So, I'll check back in after I charge my camera and I'll hopefully have gotten a little farther into this damn book. It's really good so far, I swear. Like, I love Lyra, she's so not a good person <laughs> i'm interested i just i can't concentrate and it's annoying me so i'm gonna focus but first i need to charge my camera so i'll see you guys in a bit hi guys it's day three of the scally wagathon it's currently 6 52 i have to get ready and be out the door in like 15 minutes accidentally passed out yesterday i didn't get a chance to wrap up my day so I thought I'd do a very quick check-in because like I said, I'm in a hurry. I kind of overslept again. Um, I stayed up until around midnight, I think it was, but I did get a little bit farther into the book. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's not what I thought it was going to be. Okay, so it's told in dual perspective, right? And um, you get the perspective from, oh my god. I don't know how to pronounce the prince's name but, and then you get the perspective of Lyra who is, you know, the siren and I think in the beginning I I enjoy Lyra's perspective a lot more than the prince's whose name I can't remember is there's an E and I keep wanting to say Elias but it's not Elias, Elias is from Ember it's not that I didn't like it, I just, I liked her perspective a little bit more but now, like, it's growing on me and I appreciate the dual perspectives because you get to see what's going on in the sea with all the sirens as well as like kind of what's going on up on land with the human peoples. I'm really enjoying Lyra as a character I mentioned. I want to see her character develop because right now so basically the entire thing is that um, she is the daughter of like the queen of the sirens right? As part of her mom being the queen she kind of controls everybody like all the sirens and it's kind of very 
abusive. I mean, she's supposed to be like the sea witch, you know? So obviously she's not meant to be like a good character or like a good mother figure. I want to see in particular how Alexandra changed up the story of the Little Mermaid because it's my favorite part about retellings. You take a story that like we're all familiar with or most of us are familiar with at least with the fairy tales and you kind of make it your own. Like authors authors make it their own and they add things and it's it's cool to see how they adapt certain things from the original in like their own world. I really like it so far. I think that's everything that I can say about it without spoilers. Right now I feel like I'm going really slow because like I said I have a really difficult time concentrating when I'm reading a physical copy of a book these days but once I get through this book I'm just gonna start an audiobook and everything's gonna go by so much faster. I'm just kind of easing my way through this book it's fine i'm not freaking out about it just finishing a physical copy of the book is, like i knew it was gonna be hard for me like that's fine i just i want to finish it that's my goal i can't freaking see so it's like hard to do my makeup every morning anybody else have issues with like their concealer creasing i've tried everything and lately like it just creases all the time and my mascara no matter what i do if it's waterproof not waterproof like i do all the tricks in the book and it just always ends up smudged under my eyes. Like, I don't even wear mascara on the bottom of my eyelashes. On my bottom eyelashes anymore because of it. Oh shit. Okay, 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 okay. okay I think I need to hurry up. And finish getting ready before I am late. So, I think that's gonna be it for now. Check back with you guys a little bit later in the day. I just wanna say California weather sucks because right now we're at that annoying point where like, Pretty cold in the morning. Well, cold for me, okay? I live in California, don't roast me. And then when I get out of work, it's like Satan's butthole out there. Like, it's really hot, so. Oh, I never know what to wear. I'm wearing a denim jacket. I'm cold right now, but it'll be fine later on today. That's it, that's my Hannah. Oh, I was gonna conceal my pimple scar. I forgot. Oh well. Hey, look at me. Turns out, reading while walking at a leisurely pace, doable, done it before. On the other hand, trying to read when you're speed walking in order to avoid being late to work, turns out it's not the best option. It's really getting good. I want to know what's going on, but I can't. Maybe I should get that audible trial, but I'm almost done. But like, mm, I don't know. Dang it. One eternity later. I filmed the entire first part of this and then I realized it was way out of focus. So basically, I'm really tired. It was a long, exhausting day. My anxiety kind of fucked me up pretty early on in the day. Like as soon as I got to work, it was just a really... I wouldn't say it, it's been a bad day. I've had worse, but like it was just one of those days where like I felt self-conscious about everything like I felt like I was doing everything wrong and everybody hated me and I had to like constantly keep checking myself that like it's all in your head just don't overthink it everything's fine just keep doing what you're doing get home and rest and you'll feel better yeah I was exhausting and I'm tired but the on the bright side of you know being super anxious and feeling like shit all day that helps me <laughs> read um i actually got some reading done today um i feel like i just i just i needed to get out of my head for a little bit and that ironically enough helped me focus on actually reading the words off the page so i actually got quite a bit of reading done and i actually managed to read a little bit on the bus on the way back so stila cosmetics i don't want any makeup all in all it hasn't been a great day but like it hasn't been the worst. <laughs> That's kind of it. Now I'll jump into the clip of showing you guys my new projector. I ordered a projector a little while ago and it finally arrived today and now I'm gonna share it with you guys and then the other stuff of what I filmed right before this. So, to that. I have a projector now. I've been keeping an eye out for this, like this particular one on Amazon for months and the price finally went down from like $100 to 60, I think it was. And like I'm just oh, I'm excited and I love it and it's small and like I have no idea where I'm gonna put it obviously I'm not gonna put it on top of my what is it my aromatherapy dispenser thing because 
like the steam needs to come off but that's why I was putting it to test it out against my closet door um, obviously I need to buy a screen for it but yeah I'm excited it's so nice and pretty that's my update for now um, tomorrow though I don't have work I have my optometrist appointment I just asked for the whole day so I'm not gonna work all day tomorrow and I'm excited about that to be honest because like I said today was not a good day for me sorry if I'm like talking really awkwardly and cryptically about the whole anxiety thing I'm just not used to saying these things out loud to people I don't really know how to talk about it but yeah I've just been really anxious it's been a a shit day and I'm still gonna participate in this I, I do feel better now that I'm home um, I'm kind of like a little calmer I think being home always helps me okay I'm gonna where did I leave my backpack I need to pick up my book uh, okay I'm gonna check on that and then I'm gonna keep reading and I'll check back with you guys in a bit see I keep like posting like from the worst angles I'm sorry but I'm like too tired and lazy to do the like my space you know, skinny angle. You're gonna see my chin. Her name is Cynthia. Say hi. It's nice to meet everybody. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now. She wants her bed, but like, dude. Oh, si supiera. 